Okay, uh, we are actually going to be using our wood finish here to do some repairs on furniture. It's a great adhesive as well as a finish. And so we're going to use that. And, and you see I've put this little tip on. We have those available. And it makes it so that you can really pinpoint exactly where you put the glue on these things. So we'll put some glue on here. And we'll get it so that it spreads around there. And then we'll just put this clamp on. And the great thing about this is, yeah, if you guys could uphold that. When we pull this together, it takes very little time, and that's going to set up in there. And there we are. Clamp will stay on. This is the and thin glue that you used? Yes, that was the thin so that it would penetrate in there mm -hmm. real well mm -hmm. and, and, and hold. It's, it's a flexible adhesive? It is a flexible, yeah. Uh, actually wood, glue, uh, wood finish, but it is a flexible glue as well, and it works great for these kind of repairs. Quick, easy, you know, you can do them in a hurry. I noticed that it seemed to really soak into the wood. Does that make the fibers swell? It does. It, just like if you apply water to wood, it swells those fibers up. And with the glue, because it sets so quickly, it holds the fibers like that, so they stay swelled up, and that's what makes that joint really strong, and it should last for years. Do we need to use an activator on that? You can, but you really have to work fast if you do. And with the thin, it's really better not to. And so we have to leave it clamped all of a minute or a minute and a half, and the chair will be repaired. Hmm. That's one quick That's, fix. Sure it is. is. And we'll take a look here at how to repair a drawer as well. Okay, we looked at gluing a chair and how quick this glue works to, to repair those loose rungs and that sort of thing. Now we're going to look at doing a drawer that's literally been completely come apart on us here. And uh, in this case, we're going to use medium glue, uh, or actually the wood finish, but the, the, uh, as a glue we're going to use it. And so I'll start applying some of it. You don't need the thin for this? Well, here's the thing. There's two reasons. This is was not, this isn't an expensive drawer. It's not machined all that clo closely. And uh, it's going to take me a bit longer to put this together. And so I have more open time. This glue doesn't set as quickly as that thin. And it'll fill those gaps in there as well. So that's the advantage of the, the medium in this case. I'm going to use a little accelerator and just a little bit on these two surfaces. That's going to make that set fairly quickly there. So I'll get this end set where I want it and press it into place and then we'll get this other end into place and push it together and now that drawer is set. And now why do this rather than wood glue? Okay. Uh, well, we're using this instead of wood glue simply because it's so fast. If I used wood glue, I could do it, but then I've got to clamp it for like, you know, an hour. Right. And, uh, you know, this is just, it's a great way to get it put together and finished in a hurry. And we've got a lot of them to do. Yeah, we've got more to do. And another thing, you can do this if you buy a case good, you know, a chest of drawers. And if the whole case is loose, you can use this glue around the back. Just put a clamp on it to hold it so you get it nice and square. Run the glue along there. And again, in just uh, two, three minutes, it's set and that cabinet's ready to go. So mm -hmm. it's a great way if you pick up some antiques to make quick repairs on it.